If the appointment you're getting ready for is causing a lot of nervousness, I've been there. I, I get that too. Morning everybody. I am getting ready before we head to the hospital today for my first appointment with the rheumatologist. And I'm listening to this song, No One Ever Cared For Me Like Jesus. Stephanie Gretz Inger, <clears throat> however you say it. If you need a little encouragement for your heart today, I would highly recommend typing that song into YouTube and listening to it while you do the dishes or whatever you're doing this morning. Speak in truth. Jesus, his faithful hand has held me all this way. When I'm old and gray and all my days are numbered on the earth, let it be known in you alone. My joy is found. I found. <coughs> and then if you need a hype up song, <laughs> Rend Collective's Rescuer. He's our rescuer. He's our rescuer. Oh, yes, the good Lord is the way, the truth, the lie. And if you have a task or a chore, that feels daunting and overwhelming, I would say put a song on and maybe a second song and then the task will be over. Or maybe it'll be like a kind of task that has, that you need to listen to an entire album. You can do that too. But most of the things like folding the laundry or starting a load of laundry, emptying the dishwasher, loading the dishwasher, those things can usually be done within one, two, or three songs, right? I mean, that's one way to look at it. I mean, the dishwasher is already empty. I just have to finish the silverware, and then it's done. So, less daunting, you got this, guys. Oh yeah, let's do this. Or, I just had another thought. Fry Life videos are usually 10 to 15 minutes long. So if you haven't caught up with us lately, you could put a Fry Life video on. Sometimes I listen, well, I watch, but listen to while I'm working other videos, people's videos that I haven't watched yet. And just hearing them talk in the background. Oh, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I thought there were bugs on this flower and it's been in my kitchen for a few days so I was like gonna be grossed out there were bugs in here the whole time but they were not bugs anyway I think it's good to give your brain something to do while you bust through a uh, a chore yeah I love, love, love watching the wads. Kim is hilarious. And when I watch her videos, I feel like I get more done because I'm like listening to her talk about cooking or cleaning strawberries or whatever. And I'm like, yes, I'm gonna clean this oven. So, highly recommend. I thought of a couple things I wanted to share about preparing to go to a your doctor, your clinic, um, testing like a hospital visit for whatever reason you have to go the morning of there's a few things that i like to do to feel ready i don't know what just fell under the kitchen sink but um okay wear clothes that makes sense for you. So if you want to get dressed up so you feel ready, get dressed up. 
if you want to wear black leggings and a big t-shirt or whatever wear that just wear whatever feels good for you um if you just want to be comfortable or i remember uh feeling really crummy like having a fever and heading into clinic and just oh i just know i'm gonna be like cold and feverish so i would wear black leggings and our really big oversized go sweatshirt and that was good for me like that's what i needed um i'm sharing some like tips about preparing for your hospital visit or clinic visit or whatever nice. so wear whatever you want um super duper hydrate because if they need to take blood you don't want your blood work to be dehydrated and concentrated you want like true numbers what are your real numbers so i try to drink like my whole day's worth like 2000 mls or whatever your goal is um i try to drink that before the blood work so that it shows well hydrated blood work numbers um so go through on my phone in the notes section any questions that i was going to ask this doctor and any any testing i wanted to ask about like can we look back at that blood work and talk about that number or whatever so go through and get your list of any questions and then of course if it's a new doctor and you do need to have records transferred that's something that needs to be done like preferably like a month ahead of time because you never know transferring from one hospital to the other from one state to another like how quickly they'll transfer your records or not and if it doesn't work the first time you're gonna have to try again so a month ahead of time would be ideal but the other thing you can do is if you have records from that hospital like if you were able to bring with you some notes from the last doctor or some imaging or whatever you want to bring with you like bring it with you so set it by the door so you know that when you walk out the door you're going to see it like you can even put it in front of the door so you can't open the door unless you pick up the binder or paperwork or whatever it is that you need to bring and then yeah once once i go through my questions and make sure i have it in my mind like i feel mentally organized and ready then turn the the <sighs> this feeling turn that off you're like i already went through my questions i know there's nothing more i can do to prepare for this just turn it off and if you cannot bring somebody with you you know with covid times and restrictions some hospitals are allowing visitors some hospitals are not so i would highly recommend downloading the abridge app before you go this is not a sponsored video but the reality of the helpfulness of that app is so great i'm just really thankful for it i get messages from you guys i get messages from my friends and family in real life uh texting me hey i have to go to the doctor tomorrow or my cousin has to go to the doctor what's that app i, I need to use that app what is it so i'm constantly like sending sending you guys the links and that sort of thing. And I'm just really, really glad that it's something that can be helpful. And um, quick blurb about it. It was created by a cardiologist because he saw that his, uh, his patients were having trouble keeping everything straight because it can be really overwhelming in an appointment. So he wanted to make a tool that would be helpful for the patients. So it records your appointment audio and it transcribes it into a little document so if you need to look back at it and be like oh what did she say about tylenol and it pulls out those keywords so if you haven't downloaded that yet and you are going to an appointment and you need some help i would highly recommend that and i mean peter is allowed to come with me to this appointment but we will still use a bridge because even with two sets of ears Sometimes we miss things and we like to be able to have that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I do beforehand, but yeah, I think on that point of like turning off your brain, there's nothing you can do. Like worrying is not gonna help. So that's where the music comes in and that's where I turn on, maybe it's you have an hour drive. I We used to have an hour long drive to get to the hospital 
And I got used to that. Like I have an hour to pull myself together. I have an hour to let my brain like simmer down. And, um, and now <laughs> I love it. We only have like a 14 minute drive <laughs> to the hospital. So choose your three songs you want to listen to and that's it and you better be ready to go so i am so thankful to be this close to the hospital i'm just like joking about the fact that the hour used to be really helpful um so yeah just prepare and then turn it off and let it go because there's nothing more you can do before you get there typically what I do when I go into a new appointment is, or like a new doctor, do the initial introduction and then they usually ask like, so what's going on? And then you give your little brief history of your health and your life, how, whatever pertains to that specialty. And then you guys talk back and forth, back and forth. And then as the appointment is coming to an end, look like purposely look like open your phone and say i'm just going to take a look at my notes that way they don't think you're like i'm just texting my friends while <laughs> you're in here so i open my notes and just kind of look through the list and make sure we hit on those things during our conversation and if i missed any of those i'll be like oh yeah one other thing i would i wanted to ask you about and sometimes at some appointments i'm not able to hit everything on my list Sometimes one of those things takes priority and that takes up the majority of the appointment and and that's okay. Um, and then you can kind of keep that in the back of your mind or you can email the doctor later or whatever it is. So those are my tips about preparing to go to the clinic or new doctor and yeah. Do You're you, good. Do you she's, have a, any? she's a pro. Do you have any tips or thoughts? My tip is listen to her. Oh my, well. Okay, um, bring food, especially if you have to be NPO before testing. Bring food with you because you, you don't know when you're gonna have time to find something, bring some food with you and bring some water. There you go. And let us know in the comments anything else that you would add to this list. I'm probably gonna think of things later today. So whatever you guys think of, put it in the comments for other people to read uh, to help them as well. So let us know. I thought of one more thing I wanted to say. I was thinking through kind of what I shared in those video clips and I thought I could not have made that video or it would have been very difficult for me to make that video on a day where I was going to an appointment that was really nervous, anxiety inducing, all the unknowns. This appointment today, I am not worried about. I'll get a little nervous belly as we pull up to the hospital, but that's just, you know, normal, everyday nervous belly type of thing most people get when they drive up to a hospital. But, I'm not nervous about the outcome. This is just not a nervous appointment for me. I get even more nervous when I'm going in for CF clinic. So I think that's the other thing I wanted to just say to you guys, like if you are having a day with, I already just treated my blood sugar, but my Dexcom is still making sure I know. Um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to say, if, if the appointment you're getting ready for is causing a lot of nervousness, I've been there. I, I get that too. Today just happens to not be one of those appointments. So just ride the waves, whatever may come, if it's a nervous day, do your best to prepare and fight against that anxiety. Um, and if you need a couple extra songs to remind you of truth and ground you in that anxiety, like ground you so that you're not just like floating away with anxiety, um, pick a few more songs that remind you of the truth that you wanna hear and you got this. And in a matter of hours, it will be over and you just do your best and get through. And now 
<laughs> now we have taken up the entire vlog. So tune in tomorrow when we will pick up this camera and actually go to the hospital. Hopefully this new appointment. I don't know if I said it. This is my first time meeting with rheumatology. There are a few blood work numbers, a few symptoms that my cystic fibrosis team wanted to refer me to the rheumatologist. So first time meeting a rheumatologist anywhere and here. So as always, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow at the hospital. Good night. Good night. Good night, Ollie. Where is he? I'll he's in there. Good night. Oh, I see your tail wagging. Oh, I see you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Love you.